So what are your opinions when you see uh, these videos on YouTube when foreigners are saying that Thai women want money and not love? How can things like all Thai women are prostitutes? This is not real. What's the story everybody? Pete here from Thai Times. Hope you're doing well out there. So today I'm interviewing Ern, who is a Thai lady and she's from Isan originally, but she's living in Bangkok now. And she's going to share her opinions on certain foreigners that live in Thailand and that visit Thailand. She's also going to share her opinions on certain YouTube channels that portray all Thai women to be prostitutes and all Thai women chase money and not love. She's going to share her opinions on that. And then she's also going to share a bit about her life story, her background, where she's from, life growing up and uh, what her plans are for the future. So let's get straight into it. Let's meet Ern. Hope you enjoy. Okay, Ern, thank you very much for coming on here. I'm very excited to hear your story. Can you introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are? Yes, um, thank you so much to be here with you. My name is Ern, I'm 24 years old. My hometown in Ubon Rajasthani, or we call it Isan. Yes, and live in Bangkok about five years. And I have my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel named Earn Lucky Girl. I talk about Thailand, Thai culture. Yeah, if you want to learn more about Thailand, Thai girl, Thai culture, you can watch my video or follow my YouTube channel. <laughs> you told me that you it's only been one year that you've really tried hard to learn English. And that's so that is like really good. Like your English is already so good for one year of like effort and hard work. Thank you so much. Yeah, actually, the my purpose to make the YouTube channel, I just want to practice and improve my English. I have been to learn English, I think, about one year. Yeah, I just want to create my environment that to speak English because around me, I live in Thailand. I have Thai friends. Everyone speaks Thai. So I want to make the YouTube channel and talk with myself in English. Yeah. And I think what the content I should do, I just think, okay, I live in Thailand. So I just think maybe talk about Thailand. Yeah. And you're living in Bangkok now which is very different from Ubon Ratchathani. I saw one of your videos and like you live in, in the countryside in Thailand. So how, how do you like, uh, how do you find living in Bangkok? Do you like living in Bangkok? Um, I come to Bangkok because my hometown, very village. I mean, don't have anything, don't have job. And about study, let's say is quite not good. I come to Bangkok for study. I study university in, in Bangkok. I, um, yeah, my parents cannot support me so much. I come to Bangkok for have a part-time job. I can work and I can study too. Yes, that's why I come to Bangkok. And now are you, are you working in Bangkok now? I am a real estate agent, yeah, and also I make the YouTube channel. So let's talk about some of the topics that you spoke about on your YouTube channel. Um, the first one is you, you spoke about relationships between Thai and Farang, Westerners. And the question I have is, like, how can foreigners understand their Thai partner better? Because you do see kind of cultural differences in the relationship that make uh, create problems in the relationship. So what do you how, how do you think or what's your opinion on how foreigners can understand their Thai partner better? Mm -hmm. For me, the first thing or the big problem is about language. If your girlfriend or Thai Thai girlfriend cannot speak English, this is very hard to communicate so language is very important to solve this problem maybe you need to send her to study english for have better english and then you will have good communicate 
I mean, you can understand each other more. Even you use the Google Translate, sometimes uh, Google Translate cannot send the feeling, you know, and the Google Translate, some word is cannot translate too. So sometimes this is very difficult. And the uh, second thing for understand each other more, your girlfriend should learn about your culture and foreigners should learn about Thai culture too. I think this thing will make you understand each other more and don't try to change other people because the natural people don't want to change. I mean, don't change her 100%, but you don't change anything. Maybe you adjust each other like 50-50% to be balanced. I think treating this is will help you to understand each other more. I think, yeah, what you're saying is good, like adjust because it's two two different cultures coming together. So you have to adjust and change a little bit but don't try and change the other person 100 percent. but just kind of yeah, you have to definitely. change a little bit they have to change a little bit yes okay the question uh, i saw on your channel a topic that you brought up on your channel was uh, so uh, about on youtube was that uh, you see some videos on youtube and they make all thai women look bad they kind of would say all Thai women are looking for money, not love, and uh, some, um, yeah, well, that's the big one, money, not love. So what are your opinions when you see uh, these videos on YouTube when foreigners are saying that Thai women want money and not love? Okay, the first, when I watched that video, I feel angry too because I'm Thai woman. How you can say that Thai woman asking money from foreigner and yeah i'm so angry and some of my video i talk about this topic too and i want to tell that this is not real maybe that foreigner come to thailand meet with bar girl and they become girlfriend boyfriend and of course that like that girl they make money from, from bar or nightclub. When you become to the relationship, you want her to stop to work. That is her job to, to make money. When she stops, she doesn't have money. Maybe she can ask money from you. But if you have girlfriend like a normal job, normally Thai girl will not ask money from from boyfriend yeah i just want to tell this but how do you feel as a thai woman when you see these videos yeah the first i um, feel angry because i'm thai woman but after i just think maybe that foreigner don't know thai so much maybe just come thailand for a short time and just go some place that for example pataya or nightclub they didn't go to the temple or local place that why they say bad about Thai woman. But I learned one thing, the foreigner who come to Thailand and make the content, they have to content to get light, how to say? Views. Views, yeah. yeah. Mm, the first thing they will talk very really bad about Thailand about Thai women, about like Thai women are prostitute, something like that. But another way they talk very good about Thailand, like Thailand, very beautiful country. Um, Thailand is very good weather, Thai people, everything very good. This is what I learned for to get the... To get views and to grow your channel. Yes like that are there any other things that you think foreigners misunderstand about thai women what i think now i just think they really don't know about thailand if they really come to thailand you will see a like doctor 
or teacher, woman, seller, or business owner, YouTuber, modeling, many things. How can things like Thai wo all Thai women are prostitutes? This is not real. Maybe they just come for a short time or maybe never come to Thailand, just watch some some video from social media. Yeah, for me, I don't care because that is not true. What What would you tell them, you know, about about coming to your country? What would you say to them to make them change their opinion? I say that if you really come to Thailand before or go to the local place, you meet with Thai people or stay long term in Thailand, you will learn. You will know in Thailand we have many, we have office, we have school, we have hospital, have women work there, not only in nightclub or bar. Yeah, I tell them for get the correct information. That is not true that all Thai women prostitute. Yeah, that. Erin, where is a good place to meet these people? You know, if you, you don't want to go to a bar and you, you don't want to meet women in a bar, where do you meet these good women? The place that you can meet Thai women is so many places. For example, park or shopping mall, restaurant or even nightclub. That, that is not too bad because sometimes we just want to go to party for relax, have fun with friends. Yeah, not mean who go to nightclub is bad girl or sell her sale like that so i think actually right now have application if you want to learn each other more maybe you can use application or meet at the night place like coffee shop yeah shopping mall i think that's nice place i have a great place earn a bookshop but wow yes that's very nice because if you go to a bookshop you know that if they're in the English speaking section, they're going to speak English. Yeah, that's there right. There you go. And you know, yeah. people, and then people in bookshops usually are clever because they're in a bookshop, they're reading. So then, you know, okay, speaks English and then clever. Wow, I love this. Maybe people are watching this now and I'm going to go to uh, go to the bookshops. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. so what are, what are your tips then for foreigners that want to date? Uh, Thai women because there are people watching this now many people watching this now already married to uh, Thai women or else there are people watching this maybe they're single and they like coming to Thailand and they want to meet a nice Thai woman so what are some tips that you can give them you can find some job to work in Thailand for long term you can learn more about Thai people Thai culture and when you have date you take the woman go some place for example in restaurant you should talk nice with her should good location uh, should avoid the bar or nightclub maybe she will think not good that you take her to nightclub after drink and maybe go somewhere so i recommend you should go to a normal restaurant that you can talk with her learn about her more and second thing you should be gentleman a good man yeah and avoid about the sexual topic oh and one thing yeah shouldn't so ego that you think you so cool, you so handsome, you foreigner white man that I think that's not nice. Should be like humble, like yeah, I think she will like you more. Did you see uh, people like this that have a big ego because they're you know white guy in in Thailand with money? Yeah, so many actually in social media they make a clip video that. He walk in night market and everyone look at him and he think he's so handsome. Of course, everyone gonna look at you because how you can wear suit and walk in night market. Everyone gonna look at you, right? And but he make like a 
he's so handsome and everyone look at him something like that yeah <laughs> Okay, so in in the media in Thailand in the last two three months, there was a lot of um, videos about some foreigners that were behaving badly in Thailand. There was one famous one where it, it was a, a guy. I, I think he was from Switzerland, and he kicked the doctor in Phuket that was sitting near his on the step of what he thought was his land but it's not his land but he kicked the doctor and it went viral on social media in thailand then there was maybe a two or th two or three more videos there was a german guy in i think it was patia that was like cleaning himself somewhere anyway what's the feeling in thailand now about about some foreigners and their behavior in thailand yeah, that was very big news. And for me, I think like these people, uh, the great trouble in society, they don't have respect to other people. Think very simple. How you can kick the someone just sitting? This is, is not normal. I think in his country, he cannot do like that. When he comes to Thailand, maybe he wants to show he's so cool or to show ego or want attention. But I heard actually he kicked many people. But at that day, he are lucky. He kicked the doctor and doctor go to police and come to the big news. Actually, he kicked like a normal people too. But normal people, sometimes they scare they don't want to have any problems, so they quiet. Yeah, but this time he are lucky. Yeah, for Thai people now, we really don't like it. Of course, we don't like it, and we will look bad for other foreigner too. I mean, another foreigner who live in Thailand now, Thai people will feel like we don't like foreigner because of that guy make make foreigner look bad too i think so earn you're you're only 24 so you're you're still very very young what's your dream what's your goal what why did you start a channel what would you what would you like to to get from your youtube channel and your your life at 24 yeah for me i'm still learning too i really I don't know what I like it, but I just try to do many things for learn what, what I love and what I like. Actually, I really love to be a YouTuber because I no need to wake up early to go to office. I, when I do the YouTube, I can work everywhere. I can go many places to make the content. For me, I want to grow up in the YouTube, have many views. I have dream to go many country and have income from YouTube. Yeah, that's my dream. This is something that I noticed when I lived in Thailand. If you're shopping at a market or you know, you're in Bangkok, you're walking around on the streets, sometimes you see foreigners, not all the time, but I have seen some foreigners uh, like backpackers and they're sitting on the ground and they might have a picture that says i'm traveling the world can you please donate money or can you buy and maybe they're selling like a necklace or something you know for their hands for like 20 baht or, or 50 baht or whatever and they're so they're basically traveling the world and they want you to to pay them money and it kind of it's it's begging basically is what they're doing um and I know from my time in Thailand that many Thai people don't like this when they see it. What's your opinion on this this kind of behavior? Yeah, right now Thai people very tired with like this foreigner because sad to have so much and we so boring and don't want like this foreigner. Yeah, and. Um, uh, I want to tell you about my story. I meet with one foreigner in Bath from Don Mueang Airport. I see him. He try to pay money. He have one credit card. He try to tap on the machine to get machine from the staff. 
I just looking at him, he really don't know that he cannot pay from his credit card. I look at him at the moment and he cannot pay. I just pay for him 30 baht, even not $1. And I asked him, you don't have any cash? You don't have money? He said, no, I don't have. I just have one credit card. And I asked him, where, where are you going? He said, I'm going to go to my hotel. And he gonna take money from from ATM, but he tried before. ATM didn't give him money. I say, if ATM didn't give you money, what are you gonna do? And you know you cannot pay with your credit card from this machine. And he say, I tried before with another bus, and the worker say, ไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไร it's mean no problem that's okay. So this is not he for for time to do like that. I just feel like you cannot get advantage from Thai people who have very good heart, Thai people. And yeah, I asked him after you go to the hotel and you cannot take money from ATM, what are you gonna do? And he said, maybe I will start to be homeless in Thailand. I say, what? How you can do that? I'm I'm really shocked how he can answer like that, how he can think. And I say, no, you cannot do that. Police gonna go take you. Yeah, I just feel very bad. Now I start to do like, like this foreigner. Yeah, and I want to tell the foreigner who want to come to Thailand for holiday or spend time yeah you should have money or learn more about thailand more not mean uh not only watch some video in social media that thailand very cheap very easy to come and you suddenly come without money yeah you should have money you should have more information about thailand yes that why that what i want to tell okay brilliant brilliant you did a great job um what i'll do earn is i'm going to leave your channel i'm going to link your channel uh down below and then i'll put it in the title so everybody go over Thank and check you. out earn's channel subscribe to our channel because you have interesting topics there that foreigners are going to be interested they can learn more about your country which is good and then you did a great job today speaking English after one year of learning hard, like learning, like putting a lot of effort into your learning. And here you did an interview in another language, which is, that's excellent. I mean, I could, I could not do an interview in Thai. When I was 12 years there. Yeah. <laughs> so what? you should be proud of yourself. You should learn Thai. <laughs> and we can learn. I can speak a bit. Um, I can understand more mm -hmm. than I can speak. Oh, I see. Say something in Thai. Ask me a question. Say something. Do you like, you ask me, do I like, do I like Thailand a lot? Do I like Thailand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow, you're good. You speak very clear. You yeah, really maybe good. because I I, pra I I don't know, maybe just because I lived there. I was I, I was a teacher there. That's how I started. Wow. Yeah. Um I taught in so you you the video you sent me was in um you were in Ratchet at a street. Yeah, I, Ratchida. I used to work in Trimudam School, not far from there. Oh, it's wow. near there. And um, then I, uh, I worked on Sukhumvit Twenty Two. What's the name of the school? I can't remember the name of it. It's gone. But I was a teacher, um, for a while. Then I started the YouTube channel as well. So. That's what that's how I started, you know, started teaching, enjoy teaching. And I think teaching is kind of similar to YouTube because you're talking to people. You try to, you know, you try to help people understand something. So it's similar. Yeah. 
let's do something in the future. Let's do another another video, another topic, another idea. We can mm-hmm. maybe we can uh, ask subscribers to comment down below and just see what what are topics they'd like to discuss or you know what are the videos they'd like to see on the channel. Put it down below, everybody. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Erin. Take care. Shakti. Thank you so much. Kapunka.